we're going to go ahead and put the ice foot, lay the baby down. A 17-month-old female presented to the pediatric emergency department after vomiting twice and her mother noting neck pulsations while she was sleeping. At triage a heart rate of 200 beats per minute was noted. An ECG demonstrated SVT with absent P waves. Okay, okay, count for 15 seconds. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fifteen thousand. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Our treatment plan was to start with the application of an ice bag to the face for 15 second intervals to stimulate a vagal response for breaking the SVT. If the ice failed, our next step was to rapidly inject adenosine 0.1 mg per kilogram intravenously using the single syringe technique. If that failed we would increase the adenosine dose to 0.2 mg per kilogram. Our subsequent treatments would be propanolol 2 mg per kilogram per 24 hours administered in three divided doses orally. At the very end of the first 15-second application of ice covering the entire face, the SVT rhythm was interrupted and a normal sinus rhythm returned. The first dose of oral propanolol, 6 mg, was administered. An echocardiogram was ordered and the patient was admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit. Okay, that was 15 seconds, so. Teaching points. Different opinions exist whether the mouth and nose should be covered during the application of the ice bag to the face. The earliest reports of using ice to the face did, in fact, cover the entire face including the mouth and nose. Consequently, our practice is to cover the entire face with the ice bag, but for only 15 seconds, an entirely safe time frame.